This is Rika, an electric workshop learning guide. Today's lesson consists of XOR and XNOR, logic gates through relays in electrical sequences. First, let's learn about the XOR gate. The electrosequence on the right side of the screen has two input push buttons. Below each input button there is a respective relay. The OR gate characteristic produces an output if there is at least one input. Here, we check where the OL lamp lights up according to the input status of push buttons PB1 and PB2. When there is push button PB1 input, power is applied to relay RY1 and the contact of RY1 operates. Similarly, when there is push button PB2 input, power is applied to relay RY2 and the contact of RY2 operates. The two contact parts of the RY1 relay and the two contact parts of the RY2 relay are mutually exclusive. Therefore, when only one of the two relays is powered on, the OL lamp turns on. Only when the push button inputs are in an exclusive relationship with each other will the outputs come out. It works when push button PB1 is input and PB2 has no input, or when push button PB1 has no input and PB2 has input. We can say that the output by this exclusive input is an XOR gate. I will check the wiring and operation of each circuit. In addition, you can check the output according to whether or not the operation is performed through the time chart on the right after operation. Input on. Wiring breaker. Press the button. PB1. Release the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Release the button. PB2. Press the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Release the button. PB2. Release the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Press the button. PB1. Release the button. PB1. Release the button. PB2. Input off. Wiring breaker. Input on. Wiring breaker. Press the button. PB1. Release the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Release the button. PB2. Press the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Release the button. PB2. Release the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Press the button. PB1. Release the button. PB1. Release the button. PB2. Input off. Wiring breaker. Now let's look at the XNOR gate for the second time. The electrosequence on the right side of the screen has two input push buttons. Below each input button there is a respective relay. The XNOR gate characteristic becomes an output when the input state of each other is the same. Therefore, unlike the previous XOR gate, the OL lamp does not light when there are no two inputs or two inputs. Relay RY1 RY2 power is supplied by each push button PB1, PB2 input. When the relay power is input, each contact is disconnected. And at this time, the power supply to the OL lamp is cut off. Therefore, if there is only one input, the OL lamp will not light. I will check the wiring and operation of each circuit. In addition, you can check the output according to whether the operation is performed or not through the time chart on the right after operation.
Input on. Wiring breaker. Press the button. PB1. Release the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Release the button. PB2. Press the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Release the button. PB2. Release the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Press the button. PB1. Release the button. PB1. Release the button. PB2. Input off. Wiring breaker. Input on. Wiring breaker. Press the button. PB1. Release the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Release the button. PB2. Press the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Release the button. PB2. Release the button. PB1. Press the button. PB2. Press the button. PB1. Release the button. PB1. Release the button. PB2. Input off. Wiring breaker. We tried to understand XOR logic gate and XNOR logic gate through relay for today's lesson. We tried to understand the change of the output according to the relay configuration and the state of the input button through the electrical sequence. Thank you for watching. Check out the subscription and the like button. We will make more and more learning videos. Any other questions would be appreciated if you leave them in the comments below the video. We wish you a nice day.